The earliest human migratory patterns are confusing and not very well understood. The out of Africa theory, which has a mainstream acceptance, is still only just that, a theory. No one can claim for sure what happened exactly, and the most confusing bunch of all seem to be the Australian Aboriginal people. They've been on this remote island Australia for about 40,000 years. We know this because their tools and skeletal remains go back to around 40 to 50,000 years at least. And yet what's really confusing is that the continent of Australia has always been extremely inaccessible. It's been an island for millions of years. The million dollar question then is how on earth these guys ended up there? It doesn't seem to make any sense. It seems to defy logic and rationale. How could a primitive people end up making one of the most monumental journeys in human history? Well, this very question has miffed anthropologists for decades and to this day, there's really no adequate explanation. The currently accepted out of Africa theory is the only known candidate. Now, but there are a few problems with this pattern. Firstly, the Aboriginals are very genetically isolated. What that means is they don't seem to have mixed much with any other group on the planet. That means this initial part of the journey here has doubts cast over it. But where things get really confusing is this part of the journey here. At some point, these ancient people had to cross a swathe of the ocean. This would have been a monumental task, the first of its kind ever to be attempted by man. There are a few problems with this. The Aboriginals, being a fairly primitive society, showed no signs of weaving in their culture, so that does away with any possibility of having sails. Secondly, of course, they had no means of navigation, no clue that Australia even existed, so they were essentially traveling blind. And perhaps the biggest blow is that there was no archaeological evidence of boats. Even to this day, the Aboriginals build sometimes wooden rafts and canoes, but nothing that is capable of making such a voyage. All of these cast doubts as to how they managed to make this initial crossing of the ocean all those millennia ago. If we look at the genetic evidence, the archaeological evidence and the behavioural evidence, it seems to give us a lot of problems. Archaeologically, as mentioned, the lack of boats and lack of any sophisticated technology makes this all the more unlikely. The fact that they're so genetically isolated also leaves us scratching our heads. But also behaviourally, if they did make this fantastic sea journey, you would expect the Aboriginals to travel further afield and try and repeat this feat. It seemed though that they were content after reaching Australia to live essentially back in the Stone Age as hunter-gatherers and never again try to scale swathes of the sea and explore new lands. From these three points, they seem to point against the possibility that the Aboriginals ever made this journey in the first place. Now, we can't say that they disprove the out of Africa theory altogether, but what they do provide is some evidence that the story is not as simple as we once thought. In fact, they have quite a few surprises up their sleeve and some quite surprising genetic links that you wouldn't really expect. For example, they have links to the Native Americans as well as the Indians. Could it be that there's a piece of the puzzle that we're basically missing? Now, if we ask the Aboriginals themselves, their own mythology just complicates matters further. It's awash with lost continents and floods, but that's a story for another time. Join us again to ponder the mystery and subscribe to stay updated. While you're here, check out some of our other stuff. And thanks for watching.